Welcome to the Alternate States Brushing Demo. This demo contains sales and margin data by region, salesperson, and product subgroup. This demonstration is for developers who are interested in leveraging ClickView 11's alternate state functionality. During this demo, you will see how alternate states allow you to compare two data sets in the same chart. If you are familiar with earlier versions of ClickView, you may know that there are several ways that ClickView allows you to compare two or more data sets. For example, bookmarks and detached charts can be used as well as more advanced techniques such as creating duplicate data models. Alternate States extends ClickView's unique associative experience and provides an easier way for users to see and compare two or more data sets side by side in a much cleaner fashion. Let's take a look at how simple it can be. I will begin by describing this sheet. This sheet has four bar charts, all with the state of Group 1. The Group 1 state can be added by the developer or the user and then applied to the objects. At the top of the sheet, we have date selection list boxes, and on the right, we have a sales manager list box as well as a salesperson list box, both with a default state. Selections made in these list boxes will filter the charts on the sheet. The default selections will also appear in the default current selections box. Now you may be wondering why there is another current selections box on the sheet. The group 1 current selections box will display the selections made in the charts that have a state of group 1. This capability is one of the features of alternate states that allows the user to see what selections have been made in each state or in each data set. Let's start by making some selections to see how it works. Looking at the charts, we can see that Nordic has the most sales. Let's see which product subgroups make up the sales in the Nordic. Notice that Nordic is added to the Group 1 Current Selections box. In the Sales by Product subgroup chart, we can see the total sales for all regions by product subgroup. These are the light green bars. We can also see the sales for Nordic, which are the dark green bars. The dark green bars show the filtered data based on our selection. Let's clear the selections and take a look at the sales from another angle. We can see that cheese is the top selling product subgroup. You may wonder which region is selling cheese the most and the least. We can answer this question by selecting cheese. Based on the dark green bars, we can immediately see that cheese is sold in Nordic and Japan the most and in Germany the least. By comparing the dark green bars to the light green bars, which are the overall sales, we can observe that while cheese is sold more in the Nordic and Japan, it is still a small amount of the total sales. Let's clear our selections once more and take another look at brushing. Sales manager Amanda Honda has the second to lowest total sales and over the last three periods, January 2010, February 2010, and March 2010, there has been a negative trend with regards to her sales. Let's select Amanda Honda and see what she has been selling and in which region. Since the sales manager list box has the default state, we can see that it was added to the default current selections box. We can also examine how our selections affect the charts and see where most of Amanda's sales are in the Nordic. Let's select the Nordic region to see which product subgroup she sells the most. Once I select the Nordic region, we can again see our selections in dark green and we can see the overall totals for Amanda in light green. This is their brushing effect that the alternate state functionality provides. If we look at the sales by product subgroup chart, we not only see Amanda's overall sales in light green, but we also see her sales for the Nordic region in dark green. This visual comparison allows us to see Nordic sales relative to the sales across all regions. This makes the data much more valuable because there is a reference point that can be used for comparison. As you can see from the demonstration, alternate states provide a simple and easy way for users to use comparative analysis to discover their data. Thank you for taking the time to learn about alternate states and how this functionality can further enrich your discovery experience.